Coins I'm showing now are circulated relatively lower grade 1973 Jefferson Nikias from Coinas collection. Neither of them meet full steps criteria. In 1973, US Mint struck over 384 million examples of Jefferson nickels in Philadelphia. Therefore, 1973p nickel is fairly common and without enough searching an example can be found in circulation. According to PCGS, examples grading above MS65 or higher usually originate from uncirculated rolls, mean sets or bags. With a full step designation, it's also fairly easy to find up to about MS65 full steps. In MS66 with full steps, it begins to be scarce. In MS67 full steps or higher, it's very scarce to rare, and very few examples exist. MS67 graded nickels can get you over $3,000 premium in auctions these days. Good to be back with yet another episode on super valuable Jefferson nickels. Today we will find out which 1973 nickels sell for a lot more than 5 cents. So as ever, hit subscribe and bell buttons below this video and let's get rolling. Starting with this beautifully toned 1973 nickel at mid stay 6 to 7 full steps. Deep blue, mauve and gold iridescence highlights the immaculate surfaces of this superb gem. The strike is incredibly detailed with the five full steps at the base of Jefferson Monticello. In 1966, the mint added the initials FS at the lower of verse to denote the designer Felix Schlack. Coincidental with a full step designation, numismatists apply to Wall Street examples of this type. It was sold for $1527.50 in 2020 in a live webcast auction held by Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Denver variants, I mean those with D mint mark, are also scars at MS67 full steps grade. This splendid specimen ended up selling for $552 in 2021 at Heritage Auctions. The chair of our each episodes are mint errors. So let's look into 1973 D nickel struck 55% of center and chain struck. A chain struck occurs when two planches, two coins or a coin and a planche lie right next to each other or abut one another within the striking chamber. During the strike, the two expanding discs make contact where the original separation was the narrowest. The edges then flow together to form a line of contact, whose length is variable. So this incredible error nickel was bargained for $1,020 in 2021 at Heritage Auctions. And here is 1973 as proof nickel struck on a Liberia 5 cents planchet. This Liberian copper nickel planchet is a little more than 15 percent underweight for the type. This did not prevent the present superb gem proof from receiving a bold strike and impressive contrast. An unusual but undeniably desirable wrong price proof error, which sold on January 7, 2011 for $1207.50 at Heritage Auctions. Moving on to this 1973 5 cent Jefferson nickel, overstruck on a Lincoln cent. So-called double denomination error Lincoln gazes north northeast relative to Jefferson. From the sense strike, Liberty and Lincoln's left side outline remain. On the reverse, much of United from the sense strike is readable. Portions of Lincoln Memorial are apparent, rotated about 100 degrees counterclockwise relative to Monticello. The lower two thirds of nickel date is present, sold in 2019 for $900. That's all for this episode, if you liked the video hit thumbs up below, have a wonderful day.